Fans Ferdinand. We studied out of college and we iron our trousers. So we're Franz Take me out. Michael, what you do, Michael? You naughty boy, Michael. You naughty boy. Take me out. And that's the brand new single from Fans Ferdinand there. It's Rob DJ's Monday Night Pub Quiz. Yeah. Only on Radio 1. Hi, it's Rob DJ from Leeds, England. The original Quizzy Rascal. That's right. Yeah. I'm just a rascal. Yep. Yeah. A Quizzy Rascal. Yep. Yeah. I'm just a rascal. Yep. Yeah. A Quizzy Rascal. Yep. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you, Rob DJ. It's Rob DJ on the air today. Yeah. <laughs> heavy quiz after heavy quiz. That's nice. Okay, fine. There's just five questions to determine your fate. Mm-hmm. Get them all right. And you'll be great. Right. Good luck, everybody. Thank you very much, Rob. Snizzle McQuizzle, it's a general here. I'll have a word with your mother. That's nice. What's up? That's up. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. I love Rob. When I say Kung, you say Pow Chicken. Kung. Pow, pow chicken. chicken. Kung. Pow, pow chicken. chicken. When I say Fan, you say Dabby Dozy. Fan. Dabby Dozy. Fan. Dabby Dozy. What's up? That's not nice, right? I might be a legend, but I couldn't do it without the lovely Rachel. So tell them the current scores, babes. Thank you, Rob. So, Chris, uh, Dom and Carrie, you joint second with 18 points. Whoa. And Dave, you're one ahead with 19. Thanks. That's amazing. Mm. It's Isn't very, it? very close. There's not much in it. <laughs> no, there's one point. When I say Kung, you say Pow Chicken. <laughs> Kung Pow Chicken. Kung Pow Chicken. What's up? I think we should get that made into a t shirt. Yeah. I can yeah. imagine you and Rob DJ working together on a quiz show on the telly. You know, in a sort of countdown style. Do you think? I yeah. Think you'd be good together. Yeah. Be good. You could be in. Um, Come and have a go if you think you're smart enough. Quizzy Corner or something. Mm. When I books. say Rob, you say DJ. Rob DJ. DJ. Rob DJ. DJ. Instead of Dizzy Rascal, you could be Quizzy Rachel. <laughs> That'd be good. That's very nice. I might be a legend, but I couldn't do it without the lovely Rachel. So tell them the current scores, babes. I've already done that, yeah, Rob. Just done that, Rob. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob with the quiz that's tough, and here is Rachel with the glamour and the fluff. <laughs> I could just be rude to Rob the whole way through the quiz, couldn't I? Somebody Hit would... him with the questions, babes. <laughs> Somebody would watch that. Let's drop these questions. <laughs> My mum. <Awooga. laughs> <laughs> 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 oh, I'm ready. Here we go, then. Yep. Okay. Turn your text off. Yeah, Phones away off. from your area. Out of my yeah, area. I'm over. Paper's over and let's begin. Question number one. 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 Name the artist who had a hit with Ponder Replay in September 2005. Mm. Brilliant. Uh, Dido. No, it wasn't Dido. No. Name Dido. the artist who had a hit with Ponder Replay in September 2005. Rob Dog, General Bizzle Quizzle. That's nice. <laughs> Mm. You stuck there, Dominic? Yes. Carrie? No. Dave? I got it. Right. Do you not know that song? Yeah, I know the song, but I can't even did it. Sickle. Sickle. Question number two. 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 What is the fin on the back of a fish called? Trevor. <laughs> what is the fin on the back of a fish called? You got that, Dom? Yeah, I think so. I don't know that. No idea. Mm. Not up on your fish. No, fish okay. construction. Mm. Or fins. Yeah, what? but fins are on fish, aren't they? I have no idea. Carrie, do you know that? Yeah. Mm. I think so, anyway. Now, we don't want any cheating, so before we start, turn your texts off and make sure your phones are out of your area. I don't think you meant to say that, did you? I think you meant it to say... Um... Carrie, mm. I've told you before, stop trying to copy off Dave and Dom. I'm not. Yeah, the Carrie. table. What's up? Uh, question number three. 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 Roger Federer won Wimbledon this weekend, setting a new Grand Slam wins record of how many wins? Oh, God. So what's the new record? Kung Pao Chicken. Just guess. When I say Kung, you say Pao Chicken. <laughs> Where's that come from? <laughs> You got that one? Yeah, I don't know mm. what the answer is. Yeah, I've got it. Just guess. Question number four. 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 Which American rapper celebrated his 33rd birthday yesterday? Oh, man. Could be anybody. Mm. Of an age. American rapper. Do you want a clue? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, We've just a bit of really... We've met him. 
Oh, for goodness sakes. It's Dappy from Andubs. He's We've not American. Him. Has yeah. he been on the show? Yep. Yep. Has he been on the show in this room? Uh, in... Not in this room, no. I know who it is. Not in this room? No. Ah. I do too. Really? Yes. American rapper? He's I been g- in a couple of places with us. Oh. 33? Rapper? Hmm. American? <laughs> Man? I have no idea. Could be a woman. And they've been, oh, I know. So he's been on the show, but not in this studio, in a different studio. I've had a guess. I didn't say I've, that. I've had a guess as well. I've I, had a guess. I've had a guess. I just I've said, had a guess. Not in this room, Dom. Oh, did you? Next. <laughs> question number five. Finally, question number five. And finally, question number five. And finally, question number five. And finally, question number five. Which imaginary line on the Earth's surface lies largely at 180 degrees longitude? We've had this before, haven't we? Yeah. Have we? I've not seen that one before. I'm sure we've had this before. I always get mixed up between longitude and latitude. Would it make any difference whether you write the answer down? Yes. Okay. So which imaginary line on the Earth's surface lies largely at 180 degrees longitude? I don't know. I've got like one out of five this week. They're hard actually, aren't they? Because I'm tick. You know that? I'm tick. They're questions that you have to know the answers to. Mm, That makes sense. Quite a few questions, but sometimes they're really hard and sometimes they're easy ones. So this week we're hard. Well, I don't know. I don't know the answer. If you're playing along at home, um, best of luck to you. What are the answers after the news? Oh, yeah, the news. Have you got to go and, get the, go and get the news? Now. Oh, come on, man. He's not with it today. He's, like, he's got into allard mode. You mm. all right, Carrie? Yeah. Have you got the sport? Uh, no. 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 Should we play a quick track and be late for the news then if they're not ready? No. <laughs> The news is going to start exactly 8 o'clock, and if Don and Carrie are not in, Dave's going to read it in his French accent. Ah, oh, bienvenue. Yeah. And in spurt. Playlist there, playlist there. <laughs> in what? In spurt. In spurt. I could do that. Is not a problem. No, great. I love this music. We should release this, see if we can get this in the chart. What's the answer, Rob? What's the answer, Rob? That's what they say to me, because this is my job. But you'll have to wait to find out your fate. I've got all the scores after this record. Well, it's not a record, it's the news. Yeah. That completes the quiz. Stay tuned and join us in part two to find out what the answers are. Hello, love. Can I help you? Hi, Chris Moyles. Hi, team. This is Natalie from Cascada wishing you a very good morning. Well, thank you, Natalie. Pretty blonde lady, you. Right, so answers are coming up. Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio One. Let's get the news from Dominic and spot from Carrie. It's exactly eight o'clock. There are new claims over immigrants and council homes.